15 Things Not to Do in Cuba Cuba is known as a fun-loving place with plenty of rum, music and dancing. However, there are certain things that you should know not to do during your time on the island. If you want your stay to remain peaceful, here are some things you should never, ever do when visiting Cuba. Number 1. Don't criticize Fidel. Cuba remains a communist country despite recent reforms, and the government does not tolerate any criticism. If you strike up a discussion about politics, or the government you'll likely make people uncomfortable, and you could end up being reported to the police for being a subversive foreigner. Number 2. Don't work on a tourist visa. Most visitors are only allowed to spend 60 consecutive days in Cuba, but it's important to remember not to do any work, if you are on a tourist visa. Journalists come in for particular scrutiny, so be careful who you ask questions, and what you ask them about. You might be called in for a police interview, if it is suspected that you are working on a report. Number 3, don't take photos of police or soldiers. Professional photographers, and keen hobbyists, should also be aware of what they take photos of. It is illegal to shoot any photos of police or soldiers in Cuba. You might get away with one or two surreptitious shots, but if you get caught you might be accused of espionage. Number 4, don't get confused by the two currencies. There are two currencies in use in Cuba, and they vary hugely in valuation. One convertible peso, CUC, is worth 26 Cuban pesos, CUP, so always check your change to make sure you aren't getting ripped off. Number 5, don't expect to find creature comforts. There are serious shortages of many consumer goods in Cuba, so make sure you bring everything you need with you. You might struggle to find toothpaste and shampoo, or even toilet paper at certain times. Number 6, don't rely solely on public transportation. In Cuba, the local bus called Gaga, is the cheapest form of transport. Use these buses sparingly, as they are crowded and have erratic schedules. For short distances within the city, save time and energy, by opting for bike taxis instead. When traveling between cities via bus in Cuba, opt for the Via Zul which is a tourist bus line. Number 7, avoid drinking tap water. Stick to bottled water while traveling in Cuba. As a rule, you should avoid drinking tap water in Cuba. Though the water is purified at the source, sometimes the water might get contaminated in the distribution system. There have been instances of cheap plastic being used in plumbing, and even the possibility of lead contamination. Most hotels provide bottled water and filling stations with purified water. Plan ahead before traveling to remote areas and stock up on bottled water. Number 8. Don't click pictures of locals without asking them. Cuba is amongst the most photogenic places in the world, and while traveling it is tempting to click pictures of the local people. However, stop, and think about how you would feel being photographed without permission. In Cuba, and everywhere else, it is always respectful to get permission before clicking portrait shots. Try building a rapport with someone before clicking a photo. You will be surprised at the wonderful photos and stories you'll have. Number 9, Avoid Renting a Car In Cuba, renting a car is quite easy and there are beautiful vintage cars for rent. Travelers often assume that renting a car is cheaper than taking a taxi. Surprisingly, a taxi is cheaper than renting and driving a car, even over longer distances. Apart from being expensive, Renting a car is inconvenient because often you'll end up waiting for a long time for a vehicle. Vintage cars might also have other problems, and sometimes they turn out to be fuel guzzlers. Number 10. Never keep your belongings out of sight. Cubans are friendly, helpful, and hospitable people. However, like in any other country, 
There are a few unscrupulous ones who might try to hustle tourists. Some people follow tourists looking for an opportunity to take their valuables, and then ask a ransom for its return. So always keep your luggage in sight, even in places like hotel lobbies and cafes. If you are going for a drink, don't carry valuables. And, never leave your phone, laptop, or tablet unattended. Number 11, always carry enough cash. Cuba is still mostly a cash economy, so even if you're not American, you should take enough money with you to last most of your trip. Americans of course, have to take all their money cash, and then some more for contingencies. Number 12, don't forget to tip. The basic salary in Cuba is very low for most people, and the cost of living is high. Those who work in the tourist industry are likely to rely on tips to ensure a decent standard of living, so don't forget to tip. Number 13, don't blow your nose in public, or spit in the street. One of the cultural curiosities in Cuba is the attitude towards blowing your nose, and spitting in public. In many other Latin American countries no one would bat an eyelid, if you cleared your nostrils in company, but Cubans find it incredibly rude. Go somewhere private if you need to. Number 14, do not pay the departure tax. It was well known to all the recurring tourists to the island, that everyone had to save 25 Cuban convertible pesos per person to pay the country's departure tax at the airport, and although this changed since March 2015, and is now included in the passage of plane, there are still some agencies that want to charge the 25 Cuban convertible pesos per person. Number 15, don't fall for the touts. Everywhere you go in Cuba you'll find friendly locals offering advice, and directions. While some of them are genuine, there are others who will take you to bars, and restaurants where they will charge a commission, or expect payment from you. Keep your wits about you. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel.